In today's video, we're opening every Walmart mystery product. What's up guys, we're back opening more epic Yu-Gi-Oh mystery products. I say epic, but they're usually not. So maybe today they actually will be. But before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this first edition Snatch Deal. We have a Thousand Eyes Restrict original print and a Barrel Dragon original print from Metal Raiders. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below the best and the worst of these mystery products. So the ones that we have today are, first of all, we're going to start with this one. The, the infamous. I mean, it's already like kind of messed up anyway, but you guys know we've opened this very recently. The worst Yu-Gi-Oh mystery product is what I usually call it. Go check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. We're going to start with this one. I'm going to have a score of each one so that whatever you pull the values will be up there and the winner will be at the end and then the loser which is you know probably this guy is going to be at the bottom as well so we'll have like a top five because there's five different products okay let's just crack right into this one i don't expect a lot it's half open anyway so who knows if there was anything good it's probably not there anyway but we don't expect a lot look at that oh my goodness completely scratched up oh there's our rare everybody we get one rare and 20 other cards whoa check out some value can we get a good common in here that's our only hope here all of charmers though this is kind of weird is this weird okay we have uh okay where does it start We've got Win the Wind Charmer. Oh, they're all from the deck. That's why. Okay, it's just they just put a bunch of deck cards in there. That makes sense. Okay, so they took a deck and put a bunch of cards. Trick Box, dude. This thing has seen better days, that's for sure. All right, total score up there, a fat zero. Not to worry. We have a better product coming up, or do we? This one, yeah, they still had more of these at Walmart. Shocker. I know. I can't believe that people haven't bought these. They're so awesome. Five rare cards, 35 common cards for $10, and it might be $10.99, actually something ridiculous let's open this thing up uh these are we're starting with the worst okay I'm, I'm leading with the worst to finish with some of the better ones so we actually have a chance to open some packs and maybe pull something but i figured this would be a fun video i was going to look for those 25th anniversary uh packs that you probably saw that video already and uh i found these while i was there and i was like you know what it'd be fun to open all of them at once and kind of compare yeah these are these are not good let's just uh the best part about this i will say i can feel it already let's see if i can get them out without spoiling not that there's much to spoil the best part is right here this top loader that is the most valuable thing you're usually going to get out of here i this seems like a joke it's actually true this top loader is probably your best value product right there because i'll actually use that the rest of this will probably go straight to the bulk but we'll find out maybe there's something cool in here five rares everybody five rare cards and they don't mean like act like rare like oh wow it'd be so cool and rare if i had this card like because nobody else has it they literally mean rare it's like the, the rarity so it's not rare at all okay let's see if we get lucky heritage of the light come on give us at least a good common this is a crazy card, actually, and I played it in Master Duel when I was using the Pecanium Moth deck. Simo waxed me with it one time in Auction Series. Yeah, RIP. It's been a while. Okay, we got some rares here. Uh, rare, 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 and rare. Is that our five rares? No, we got six. We got six, seven, eight, nine, ten rares, eleven rares, twelve rares, thirteen rares, fourteen rares, fifteen rares. Error box. They were supposed to give us five, they gave us fifteen. This used to be a valuable card, but then it got the reprint and not used as much anymore. So they accidentally gave us fifteen rares, probably because these rares are essentially common. So they essentially give us zero rares. So depends on how you want to look at it. Uh, Golem Destroyer. We've got some. It, a lot. It's always Spanish SDK. I don't know why. Very weird. Uh, the Libero Spiker. We got an error, an error box opening here. Shinobi, look! Another insect link. I don't think we actually used that in our uh, Pecania Moth deck. I think it wasn't good enough. Uh, or at least didn't fit in our deck. So there is a bunch of value in there. A fat? I'm guessing that was zero. I didn't see anything crazy. So as of right now, we have pulled zero dollars worth of value. We've opened approximately 15 plus tax dollars worth of stuff. We have another mystery power cube. We've opened a couple of these recently. There are at least packs in here. They kind of suck, but there are at least packs in here. Let's open this up. The last two, I think it's, they're actually okay products that I wouldn't like. I'm not going to like yell at you if you buy it. I would be like, eh, it's probably not that good, but at least it's kind of fun. That's what I would do. But you know these i'm probably gonna look at you and be like what are you doing there's something wrong with you in the head this one at least contains booster packs though it does cost 20 dollars though so we've like doubled in price first of all let's get out our star packs i think there's another one that i missed nope that was it three star packs they're foreign as well i think star pack brains yeah foreign star packs talk about extreme value yeah uh yeah there's not a lot to do with that so i mean it's really hard to sell foreign cards in general much less brand you know not, not brand new in this case but just like a bad set and 
in for you know like you'll send you is cool who's buying that in spanish or whatever this is these are i mean it's not even worth opening these but you know you got to do what you got to do we got the diva no no melodious please we don't want to see that Ugh, gross i feel disgusting opening these so we have a card in here that's a super rare a morphage injection infection i should say injection fairy lily maybe one day all right in here this is always the coolest part the metal dog tags let's see what we got this is this is the most fun there's also a genesis impact there which is not a good pack either all right i want the dark magician come on baby i'm gonna show you what we can get we've done this before but there's some good ones okay i think we got yugi before seto kaiba i don't want a character i want a monster i want a blue eyes i want a dark magician dark magician girl eh. red eyes black dragon i would want that exodia i would want that yeah anything but dark magician girl or a character that's what i want i'm speaking blasphemy to you dmg fans i know here we go it's gonna be dmg now watch this oh the dark magician let's go all right now we can we can open in style now everybody all right guys the pharaoh is here and is ready to open packs see this i've got my millennium puzzle on i should rock this like just wear this in public that'd be really awesome i'd be cool yeah i know i'm sure that i would become really cool all of a sudden all right Jim genesis impact i'm struggling to speak today i mean i say today it's it's every time it's just bad nightmare griffin we have the sign regression number 96 dark mist majestus we have the live twin bottomless trapple come on give us a collector rare Okay, Drytron Alpha. I, I at least wanted to pull something good so I could be like, hey, we actually at least got something good, but our best value right now is the Dark Magician, baby. All right, let's open our last packs. Yeah, Legendary Duelist. Okay, at least first ad. That's cool. Okay, three Legendary Duelist first ad. Not the worst pack ever. It has been reprinted a bunch. And by a bunch, I mean once in a better rarity, so it feels like a bunch. But it's at least, you know, we could pull Magician. Oh, wait, it's the Light. I forget this every time because they bend the packs. It's Light Edition. They screw you. It's three packs. It's three cards. There's not going to be anything. Every time. I get fooled by that every time I see it I'm like first ad that's actually pretty cool you know and then they screw you over with the worst additions ever the freaking light edition which is basically you're never gonna pull anything edition complete garbage couple Wow! Eating my words! We pulled something! The Never Pull Anything Edition Soul Servant Original Print! That's gotta be the best light edition pull I've ever had. Okay, look, I am eating my words, but at the same time, still do not buy these expecting to pull anything. This is the first time I've ever gotten a good card out of a light edition. That's literally one of the best cards in the set. That's insane. I mean, it's not crazy valuable because there's a secret version, which is just better. Uh, it is the first print though. First print, Soul Servant. We got a good card, everybody. I we're at least, that's at least a dollar. I mean, you gotta value this thing. What are you gonna value this at? It gotta be like 20 bucks. Okay, last thing we got here. Let's see. We have a Subterra Behemoth. We got a rate. We got an Ultra at least. I mean, it's from Battles of Legends, so it's guaranteed, I think, Ultra. So not that crazy, but don't see Ultras very often here. What is that, four? You only get four in here? A Sting Lancer. Let's go, B Troopers. More B Trooper. You love that. Light Flapper. Wait, I might have used that one. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. Skin Oil. Did you Scale Bomber? That card was actually pretty good for the Pecanio mod deck. Uh, Blizzard Bell. Okay. We got value, guys. We got this and we got this. Couple of things there. Not bad. So this is now taking the lead at number one spot. I don't know what the values are, but you can see all three of them right here. It's an interesting battle. Okay. We got two more products. We have this one the mystery box with the collectible pin and the two booster packs usually they actually have a pretty cool pack like dualist alliance a legacy pack something like that and this is before they had the 25th anniversary so these legacy packs were even cooler you know i still do like the 2017 versions though because you know they're just they're old they look like old school you know unlike the 25th they got the new style card and everything okay start with the pin that's a good one blue eyes tune dragon very cool pin all right so now we have packs that's i mean we got to value that at something because it, it's it's a couple bucks at least let's see what this is okay flames of destruction it's unlimited so it's eh. but we could get imperm could get ghost bell i've opened a few of these i've never pulled either of those cards i think that when you do these you do this pack trick let's try we have the element saber let's see they got to try and beat a soul servant which is actually pretty good link streamer a streamer wow we have tin dangle trinity prompt thorn F.A. Don Draxer. I think I messed up the fact trick. Yeah, I did. Okay, super rare. It was not three trolly trolls. Hey, buddy. So that was not what I thought you needed to do. These, I think, are 10. No, they might be 15. If it's 15, it's kind of a lot. Ooh, an L.O.B. pack. Let's go. Let's see. What year is it? 2017. You can see it down here. If it was 2014, it'd say 2014. If it was 2013, it would say nothing. It would just say 1996 and not have that whole line right there. L.O.B. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Here we go. Old school 2017. I mean, this is a six-year-old pack at this point, which is pretty cool. Let's go. We have the Sandstone. The Numerico. I'm going to get that right. The Tripwire Beast. The Basic Insecto. Rootwater. 
and Moyer, number two, Larvis, Trubin, the Fire Knight, and finally, we have one more card. Will it be the legendary Blue Eyes White Dragon? As of right now, I don't think the uh, just the single pin is going to be able to beat Soul Servant and, you know, this epic thing right here. So we're going to need something big here. That is literally the opposite of big. It's petite. And there's only one card that can be named petite and be awesome. The Pequeno Ball. All right, that's four products. I think that that one probably only got second place. It got something because it got this. I mean, oh, this this pin is going to be something. Finally, we have the Chaos Box. But I think these are 25 bucks. So these are pretty expensive. We have a gaming sleeve pack and five boost packs. I remember not loving these as much as some of the other Chaos Boxes. But getting the sleeves is automatic value. That's going to really help potentially win this last mystery product at walmart for yukio i mean they had some magic the gathering and pokemon at some point if you guys want me to buy like all of them including like magic the gathering pokemon like literally whatever they have i'll buy that i'll do that at some point we could do a tcg i mean they have sports so we probably wouldn't do that maybe like a tcg version let me know if you want to see that in the future we could definitely do that okay let's start with is there a pack of sleeves in here i think there is right here it's always the miracle future which i'm not mad because this is a really awesome pack of sleeves i don't know what it's valued i would get like five bucks something like that for a pack of sleeves i mean they're pretty prevalent they're pretty easy to get okay first pack <laughs> dark saviors is everywhere man there are some good stuff though i mean the uh sky strikers being in here definitely makes this not a terrible set it could be at the front so we're gonna do that we have a vampire awakening already being at five bucks might be the soul servant by itself but who knows soul servant could be like a seven dollar card we got Ray. It's a good card. And there it is. So it was not at the front. With Sage for Hire, I love the uh, the Fur Hires. They're cool. And then a Mecha Eagle Booster could be a dollar. Not totally sure there. Wiz, not sure if that makes the cut either. Okay, next pack. Can we pull something epic? We have a... Oh, okay. Maximum Crisis. Been a long time since we pulled Ash Blossom. When we pulled like four or five out of 300 packs. When we opened like 10 special editions. That was pretty, like special edition boxes, not just special editions. So there was 30 special editions. No, 100 special well, I can't do math. Breakaway. I was thinking of the packs inside. Double Resonator. Onokuji. Speedroid. Malicious Magnet. The Ghost Beef. Oh, oh no. <laughs> We're sorry. Ghost Beef. Zodiac Hammer Kong. Oh, and there it is. Okay, so that is a the different pack trick. The Mariamne. The True Draco Phoenix. I don't know if this is money because a lot of the cards in this set are no longer money, but it is an Ultra, which is not guaranteed. So it could possibly add to our total. We still have three packs left. What is this? Oh, no. Not you. I thought we were past this. I thought we were out of those mystery boxes. The fist of the gadgets. Figo, why do you do this to us? Oh, it sounds like a government program. All right, here we go. Elphase, we have the uh, Yoko. Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. That's money. That's like four bucks. That's the best card in the set, I think. Okay, that's... That might have just won him the thing. Figa, I think you just won the mystery box challenge. That's how bad these mystery boxes are. Figa is winning the challenge. Figa is beating the other ones. It's insane. Sup, Terra Fiendus. We get a secret here. Brotherhood of the Firefist Peacock. I can't remember if that one's any good or not, but it could be. There's only a couple Firefists that are worth anything. All right, we're down to two packs. I think that, is there a mega pack in here? This feels like it might, no, that's just a, that might be a legendary pack. I'm trying to feel and save those legendaries for the end. Another maximum crap. Two in the same pack. Come on, Chaos Box. You're letting me down right now. We're going to get an Ash Blossom. It's going to be epic. It's going to be worth the second uh, Maximum Crisis. We got Cataroos, Primal Cry, Behemoth, Sapphire Swallow. We have the Darlington, Darlingtonia. I don't know what that is. Rubber Band Plane and Supreme King Gate Zero. We got a donut. All right. Okay. Final pack, guys, out of the Chaos Box. I don't, I don't know if they're ahead necessarily, but I think they are. Ooh, a Duelist Alliance. That's pretty cool. I've never pulled anything good out of this, except the time we had 100 packs at once, we pulled the cover card in Ultimate Rare. We've never pulled the Ghost, though. And I've never pulled a El Shadal Construct ulti. Or, and, like, most of the good cards. Like, the cover card's like an okay card, but, I mean, I was happy about it because it's a cover card, but I still have that card, actually. I think it is this pack trick, so I'm just gonna do that. We have Shadal Hedgehog. Gotta be ready at any point, though. Hip Hippo. Sonata. Hippo Carnival. Shadal Squamata. Stellar Knight Alpha. Guy of the Midnight Sun. Should all dragon. I think I did the pack trick, right? Pat me on the back. It's very, well, don't actually don't touch me. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you ask. Okay. And then finally we have, Oh, we got something good. A boxy of brightness of the Yang Zing. Let's go. We finally got something out of Duelist Alliance. That is a crazy card. 
Oh my goodness, secret rare. Let's go. Doesn't this get an ulti? Is that in this set this gets an ulti or is that later? I can't remember, but this is still a sick card. That's definitely worth a little bit. I know that we had one in the 1K investment video this year, and I think it was an ulti for some reason. Maybe it's from this set and maybe it's from an OTS set. I can't remember. Very cool pull. I'm super hyped about that. That's a great way to end these mystery boxes. And now you guys probably think you should go by mystery boxes, don't you? Yeah, that's what you think. But I will say the good side of the chaos box is you do get old packs like Duel Alliance. That's the cool stuff. If you can get a mystery box that has old packs in it, it makes it more worth it to pay like six, seven bucks a pack or whatever. Versus like when you're just buying new packs or a bunch of bulk, it's definitely not worth it. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I will be always checking out these new mystery products and hopefully one day they will be so awesome that I tell you to go buy them. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Leah Gwine 62, Another Tie Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barney, Mimic Gecko, and Robert F. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.